So we're here today at the INAP um, celebrating actually a partnership and a new partnership between the Institute, uh, so the Research Institute in Guinea-Bissau, the INAP, uh, its library, the National Library, and uh, the journal or newspaper in Lopincha. Um, and uh, what uh, this new partnership entails is actually to digitize uh, all editions of the years from uh, its foundation in 1975 till today and to make it available obviously to the national public but also to the international public. Um, and the importance of this is of course that uh, you know there is um, a notion of uh, really reviving and, uh, and making sure that the, the memory and the national memory is, uh, you know, is there and is, is, is preserved. Depois do INEP, depois da Biblioteca Nacional, o Jornal de Lopincha é o segundo maior arquivo do país. É no Jornal de Lopincha que podemos encontrar o grosso da história do país, que está até assim para esta data. Portanto, é uma cerimónia muito importante por todo esse manancial de informação algo disponível para todos os guineenses, para todos os leitores. UNDP has been helpful in, uh, in providing some of the materials that is necessary for the digitization, but also as a strategic partner to INEP. Um, so what we're seeing is now that we've started this, pro uh, this project with, um, you know, uh, remodeling and reinvigorating uh, the archives, and uh, the, the documentation center is that we now see that other partnerships are flourishing, right? And that there is an interest of others in pursuing, um, in pursuing really the, uh, um, a new perspective on um, you know, preserving the memory of the, of the country. And not only in this vision of uh, looking back, but really understanding some of the developments uh, of Guinea-Bissau in its uh, 48th year of independence. A digitalização é evidentemente o meio de excelência de preservação a longo prazo e de divulgação muito ampla do patrimônio documental nacional é um anseio do governo da Guinea-Bissau que está a ser concretizado graças ao apoio do Rio, através do Fundo de Consolidação da Paz das Nações Unidas. There is no present or future without the past, right? And I think you have to deeper understand what kind of currents of their social, political, cultural, you know, underpin certain developments. And I think, you know, the, the presence of the two ministers today, uh, you know, also reveals that it's really, really important to have that link between uh, understanding the past um, and uh, hopefully learning from some of the experiences that uh, Guinea-Bissau has gone through. Um, and here it is. I mean, it is both physical and online. And, uh, and we can all access it. It doesn't matter where you are, you don't have to be necessarily in Guinea-Bissau.